This is no ordinary Mass. Today we celebrate the victory of life. Shailen, welcome. <laughs> Yadira and Jose, what name do you give to your child? Shailen. And what do you ask of God and His Church for Shailen? For His blessings. You have asked to have Shailen received into the church by baptism. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training her in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring her up to keep God's commandments as God has taught us in Christ by loving Him and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? The Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of His cross. I now trace the cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. Dear children, we anoint you now with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May He strengthen you with His power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Sisters, we are now going to bless the holy water with which these children will be welcomed into new life in abundance through the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with Him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so I ask you, brothers and sisters, do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? I do. do you believe in God the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth? I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Shailen Yvette, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brandon, yo te bautizo en el nombre del Padre. Y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Congratulations. You know, I told you the story about what happened when Yadira went to the abortion facility, but there's another part to the story that you should know. Some of you know because you were there. Come on up. How do you feel today? I'm good. <laughs> I'm happy. You told me the story of uh, the other time that you went to that abortion facility, and this time you were holding a sign. Yes. Tell, tell us about that. Um, we were out there just, you know, there was a lot of people out there praying. <laughs> and me and Jose, we were out there with our big sign, um, letting everybody know that our beautiful baby is alive, thanks to pro-life advocates. Um, it felt really good to be out there even though there was a lot of people still going in the church and not coming back out. Um, but we hope that, you know, the message gets through to them and more people get saved. And uh, Arellis, and, uh, let the moms and dads and babies come forward for a moment. And the sidewalk counselors who intervened to save these lives, would they come forward as well? And I just want you to stand in front of the congregation here for a moment, facing them. Come on up, some of you here. We should, we should just savor this moment because this movement works so hard all across the country. And today we see fruits. Let us once again give thanks to God for the victory of life.
Praise the Lord. You can be sure that these moms and also these babies when they're old enough to talk are going to be among the most eloquent defenders of everyone's right to life. Now, Lord, we give you thanks for the gift of life. We thank you for rescuing and saving these children through the intervention of the people of life. We ask you to bless their moms and their dads, their godparents, their entire families with the strength to continue to instill in them that love for life. Lord, as you have saved these children from the evil of abortion, also save them from every evil throughout the course of their lives. We ask you to bless these godparents and these counselors who intervened for these children, and may they continue to be shining examples of your gospel of life. We ask all this through Christ our Lord.